Main Street. You might want to come back on your own. You can stand next to the buoy and, of course, get your photographs. The Harry Truman's Presidential Museum. The lighthouse keeper lived right here. And on top of the roof, it's unusual to see a chimney. Right? We don't need fight. No way, man. No, man. We'd rather eat come than pay taxes. So that's all they ate. They ate so much of it that they're trying to get in now. Okay? Uh, excellent food and the ambiance. Totally key west. We're talking dirt floors and at your feet, roosters and chickens. They're just looking for something to fall off the table. Rope swings coming across your table. There's artists on the property as well. Hey, let's look to your right. Through the fence, maybe uh, the see what we're talking about. Now, some people actually don't want to eat a blue heaven, as you can see. Because they don't have chicken nuggets. This is second wife, Pauline, and their two children, Patrick and Gregory. Hemingway wrote to have and have not. A farewell to arms, the old man in the sea. There was many more. There's about 50 cats on the property. A lot of those cats having six toes, which they say are the descendants of the Hemingway cats. He has bunches of them. It's open daily from 9 till 5, and we do have a trolley stop. Number four, it's a city ordinance thing. Sorry, ladies. And if you see a jewelry store, the doors are open. Keep walking. Um, they're probably taking inventory or something. I'm trying here, fellas. I'm trying to keep one out of there. <laughs> the density of the island is about the same as it was 100 years ago. Then, 25,000 people lived here. Today, there's about 25,000 people. The difference, there was no new town. That was all swamps where most of us met. So everybody lived here. And that's why the houses are right up to the street, right next to each other. Maybe he's crossing the seven mile bridge. And next to it, the back door straight in line, open them both up like looking down the barrel. It's like looking down the barrel of a shotgun, right here. Look at a little brown home. Your right side, and don't miss it, the Benjamin Baker House. We also call it the gingerbread house. Keep the video going, here on your right, because of all the gingerbread design, all this fancy wood carving. Beautiful. On the right post, about in the middle, there's a gold star. Showing excellence in the renovation. Yeah. Mr. Baker built that house for his daughter as a wedding present in the late 1880s. Now, in 1970, a tornado tilted it off its foundation. Uh, the owner didn't like the idea, sold it for $27,000. Thirteen years ago, in 1985, it resold $550,000. It's in the millions right now. Put a Jimi Hendrix album on. Don't bother looking for the gold star. <laughs> no. Still on your left, everybody, on top of this roof, you might see a metal box. The house with the blue shutters, and that's called a scuttle. That was a way to keep your home cool. You want to keep it closed, like you may have seen it. Well, architecture. But what many of the buildings have ran out of control. Well, hours. We had one fire truck. It was up in New York City being repaired at that time. The fire burned down the houses, cigar factories, because everything was made of wood, including the roof. So the embers, fiery embers, would jump you know, from one house over to the next to catch them on fire. After they catch, you need to place the dead on top of the ground and then on top of each other because it's a rock island. The city of New Orleans, they'll do the same thing, but it's because of the water table. When they start digging, they hit ocean. When we start digging, we hit rock. Under the American flag to your right, there's a memorial dedicated to the people who lost their lives on board the battleship USS Maine. Another gold star winner coming up on your right. It has the two flags in front of it. Below the gold star, you might see a bronze plaque. The plaque designating the building is on the National Register of Historical Sites. There was a sponge exchange. Now when I get you down to your main stop, I wash automobiles, they're great to paint with. They don't make the smooth stroke. You, you just dab your drywall or whatever. And uh, it makes a really neat print. These natural sponges are very expensive, but I can tell you they'll last you a lot longer than those synthetic rectangles. As 
once we turn, if you look to your left, and on top of the roof, here's another scuttle. They made a skylight out of there. It's up on your left. Here by the Volkswagen van. Yeah. They say if you plant the traveler bomb, it will grow from east to west. Oh, now I've had people tell me, oh no, that'll grow north to south. It'll grow any way it feels like growing. That's how it got its name. People traveling knew they could get something to drink from it. Here's a scuttle on the right side, easier for you guys to see, on the corner, the corner house. So you prop it open with a piece of wood, let the hot air out, cool breeze in. You find Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville Cafe on Duval Street, which is the main road list. And so hopefully that's not going to happen anymore. It's a neat area today if you get a chance to come back. This is the area where you find Turtle Carl's Restaurant. The Half Shell Raw Bar, very popular seafood restaurant. Very Max Sea Garden is on your right. Willie Mac McHugh had a curry shop like this during the 1920s and 30s, selling sea feathers, sponges. To your right, a big old tall ship. Take that out on us. Right, okay. Now we talked about gingerbread. I showed you the gingerbread house. Oh, stretch your legs. Now, if you don't want to get on the 10.30 trolley, then we'll leave again at 11, 11.30, 12, 12.30, every half an hour, up until 6 o'clock tonight. Okay, it's Key West Handprint Fabrics. It's a really neat retail store selling silk screen fashions. Key West Handprints will be stop number two on the outbound trolley. You can walk from Mallory Square. Okay. Sloppy Joe's Bar is on your left. This was Ernest Hemingway's. We've been sitting there since 9 o'clock this morning. Now that's not the original Sloppy Joe's, everybody. There's a yellow building across the road on your left, which is the original. Now why did they leave? Well, they raised the rent one dollar a week. A dollar. Hemingway didn't like it. Sloppy Joe Russell didn't like it. Picked up the bar stools up out of this building, walked them across the street, sat them down. Continue drinking. Today, this is Captain Tony's Salon. It has the brick courtyard. It's Mel Fisher's Maritime Museum. Residential Museum. Straight ahead, everybody. Right ahead is Mallory Pier. And that's where you find this Terry S. Truman's little white house. Those gates were only officially open for Presidents Truman, Eisenhower, and Kennedy. The little White House is a tobacco factory warehouse owner, and he made so much money in those two industries that he died as a bank by some wealthy tobacco factory warehouse owners. It is still functioning as a bank today, the first union bank here on our left-hand corner. Here we have Sloppy Joe's, Ernest Hemingway's favorite hangover. I mean, hangout. Oops, got to be a Freudian slip. We do have a couple of bars here on the island, a couple of t-shirt shops. You have to hunt for them, but we got them. Yeah, uh, right, Keith. Actually, we have over 150 bars on this island. We have more bars on this island than we do churches and schools combined, believe it or not. Paul was the island's first territorial governor. He was an appointed governor, though. He was not an elected governor. And right over here on our right-hand side in this block of Duval Street. We are approaching our next stop. It is stop number three, the Holiday in La Concha Hotel. It is also the stop for the Rutgers Museum, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville, and Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium. The La Concha Hotel was built here in 1920s on those two large palm trees there. Those hula skirts do dance in the tropical winds here on the island. And due to that fact, we have nicknamed those palm trees Hula Palms. They are really Washingtonian palms named after George Washington. This is Simonton Street that we're on right now. It was named after John Simonton. Mr. Simonton bought this island from a Spanish army officer named Juan Pablo Salas. We're in the yard in, at Ernest Hemingway's house in Key West. That's one of those famous six-toed cats. What he's standing on is the urinal at a Sloppy Joe's restaurant that Ernest Hemingway brought home for the water fountain for the cats. This is Ernest Hemingway's writing studio. This is where he wrote a lot of his 
books. the main house. I'm over in the carriage house right now where the studio is. He bought the whole house for $8,000 back in the 30s. One acre of land. Later his wife added a swimming pool for a cost of $20,000 because it had to be hand picked. In other words, picks and shovels had to dig through the coral to dig it out. Carol melting in the sun. Still out in the yard in Hemingway's house, Key West, Florida. Oh, you have? front of the house as you see from the road. of his four wives. The sculpture of his cap was made by Pablo Picasso for him in 